Hey, Kelly. This is your captain speaking. Take care of that line for me, will you? Aye, aye, Captain. Make sure it's tied fast. Okay, whatever you say, Captain. Got a message. <laughs> Good boy. Okay. What do we have here? Want to go to Hollywood? Want to be the next Eric Estrada? Eric Estrada! Danny, listen to you. Hollywood. Give me a break. Call Lakin. Tell her disc will pick her up. Okay, now I want you to go straight to work. No sidetracking on those buddy times. Okay, here we go. Right. Going to Danny's place here on three. One, two, three. Santana. Santana, it's Mason. Me asustate demasiado. Well, sorry, I was, um... What are you still doing here? Oh, I was trying not to bother you. Well, that's terrific. You just scared ten years out of my I'm life. Sorry, I forgot my keys. Nobody forgets their keys. So I got halfway through my car, realized I didn't have them. Well, there they are. I am putting 27 deadbolts on that door tomorrow. Santana, you didn't think I'd rape you. Mason, I'll lock up after you. Are you, are you okay? Oh, yes. Terrific. Fine. Recovering. Good. Well, uh, I'm off. See you. No, Santana, you know, you know I'm going to do my damnedest to protect you from any legal problems. Yes, you already said that. Do I talk too much to a woman who has a headache? Far too much. Rest those big eyes. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Oh, great. Terrific. Uh, did you get any sleep last night? Oh, fair amount. Enough. I didn't just think anything about you. Do I have bags? What? Bags. Oh, no. Uh, so, when do you get to be on camera? Uh, tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow. Tomorrow? Baby! Tomorrow? Uh, you're so calm. Hey, it's no big deal. Come on, you could be on your way to the top. Here comes the next Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada. I could deal with that. Well, maybe tomorrow you could get someone to notice me or, or introduce me to someone. You know, someone who's a big cheese in the film. I told you, I'd see what I could do. Oh, I've always wanted to be an actress. An actress or a famous model. Oh, it's been a dream. Yeah? Yeah. You gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah. Do you know what this guy I know once said to me? What? He said, Jade, your face should be on the cover of People magazine. Oh, I've never forgotten that. People magazine. You do dream big. I mean, take Joan Collins. What's
What's so special about Joan Collins? Her face is on every magazine cover in the whole country. Could I be a Joan Collins? Only 50 years younger. Yeah, sure. Do you think I'm conceited? No. Ambitious. It's just that being a star opens so many things. Bank accounts. I mean, you could have perfumes named after you. And sheets. Man, you do dream big. When I said big, I didn't know you meant humongous. No, wait, they're larger than humongous. And they ask you to write columns and newspapers and things. Jade Perkins, sex tips for nerds. <laughs> Wouldn't that just blow you away? I'd read it. I've got to do it, Danny. If I don't do it, it's going to eat me alive. All I want is a teeny part in a movie so I can go to Hollywood. And from there, I... <laughs> Shoot, it's never going to happen. Oh, Jade, hey, don't worry about it. Danny, they're just dreams, stupid dreams. Not necessarily. Would you help me? I mean, you've already got a foot in the door. Well, maybe a toe. Sure I will. Of course I'll help you. Thanks. and I will not take this behavior anymore. I... <laughs> Thank you. So why do you like to eat your mother? Stop changing the subject. You're uh, sneaky, Lakin. Sneaky? I would never have known. No one was going to tell me I anything. Well, I'd have squealed on her. If Josh hadn't found that broken trellis under your window... Well, why don't you suggest Mother find a gardener? Warren, I'll handle this. You see your boyfriends downstairs, okay? Oh, you mean if Ted came to the front door, you'd let him in? That is another thing. Our house is out of bounds to the Capwells. Oh, my God. Don't tell me that Ted Capwell was in your room when I was talking to you. Answer me. Yes. Where? Doesn't matter. Answer me. Where? Under the bed. Better under than in. Under the bed. Look, Lincoln's growing up, Mother. <laughs> so, uh, Ted Capwell squeezed under the bed. She betrayed me, and it is not funny. Look, Mother, you're coming down too heavy. Is this a catastrophe? Look, I'm here, too. Don't talk as if I'm not. Well, it's over. Done. Just have to deal with the consequences. Here it comes. You are grounded. <laughs> grounded? Your pop gun. No more dates. Well, I'm going to the library tonight with a guy, but he's not a date, he's a friend. He's a geek mother. I promise I won't let him under my bed. Lakin. Do you want to check him out first, make him sign something, swearing that he won't lay a finger on me? You know, her behavior is getting ridiculous. I can't take it anymore, and I don't like your interfering. It's really getting on my nerves. Stop it. Look, it's okay. It's okay. Here, you're shivering. Come here. No, don't worry. I'm fine, Peter. When he found out where you were, surely didn't take him long. Look, do me a favor. Be honest with me. Okay? Okay. Sorry, what is it? How does he look to you? Joe? Yeah. Peter, I didn't expect to see him. I know, that's not what I'm asking. He looks... I don't know, the same, I guess. You mean it's when you were crazy about it? No, don't, Peter. There's no way. I'm an idiot. Yeah, you are. Why are you shaking your head? Because it's not going to be good for any of us around here. If he keeps hanging around and haunting us, something's got to be done about that guy. Got to take care of him. Mr. Perkins, Kelly doesn't want to see you. Mr. Capwell, I'll let Kelly tell me that. I'm afraid not. My friends here will escort you back to your house where you can pick up whatever belongings you have and then get on 101. We're not even asking you to hitchhike out of town. You're getting a lift. Just who are these friends of yours? Men who, like a lot of other people in Santa Barbara, don't like you. You've no idea how many volunteers I've had for this job. 
volunteers. You murdered my son. He's dead. You're walking free. People in Santa Barbara don't see the justice in that. I know Kelly's gone through hell over this as well as you and your family, Mr. Capwell. They're prepared to take you all the way to San Diego, if they have to, to the Mexican border. I'm not leaving Santa Barbara. You can't make me go anywhere else. I served time in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Obviously, Mr. Perkins, reason doesn't work. I don't care to continue this conversation. I'm here, Mr. Capwell. I'm going to find the real killer, your son. I'm doing it for myself and for my family and for your daughter, Kelly. I'm not leaving Santa Barbara. Excuse me, Jack. I also saw an attorney. Just in case Mason can't help. I don't know you. I just don't trust Mason. You were carrying a gun. Mama, I couldn't kill anyone. Hantana, come here. Oh, my girl. I know that. It says if my whole life has split into so many different directions. I understand. I've worried you. You have. But mothers learn to expect a few worries from their offspring. I'm sorry. You've been carrying a big secret and it was wearing you down. I didn't know it. That's often the way it is. Not until Joe Perkins got out. When he got out, Mama, something inside of me just boiled over. I know. I'm so angry. Angry at myself, at Cece, at having my baby taken away from me. Santana. There's only one thing that I can do. And that is to get my baby back. Oh, Santana, Santana. I have to know that he's all right. That he's happy, that he's well. It's as clear to me as anything has ever been. Somewhere out there is a little boy that belongs to me. He doesn't anymore, sweetheart. He's my flesh and blood. Channing and mine. The most important thing to me is that I know that he's... that he's all right and that if he needs me, that I will be there. If you find him. Not if, when. Well, where is everybody? Oh, hi, you're back. Oh, my God, what is that thing? Don't worry, she's just a pussycat. Get that beast out of here. Look who's talking. Uh, look, I, I think you should leave. Look, I think she'll be okay. She's on a leash. Well, what a gentleman. Please, if you behave, I'll order us hamburgers. We'll have two hamburgers, please. One rare and one raw. No onions on the rare, and Breeze will have everything on hers. like aggressive women. Yeah. Well, shall I just wait for an invitation? Oh, here. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you again. Breeze, behave. So, hmm. are you a Santa Barbara or are you just passing through? No, I'm a native. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? I could swear. In the newspaper. On television. Am I right? Yes. Joe Perkins. It'll be all right. You've got Breeze here. A lot of empty tables. Be my guest. Joe Perkins. Evidently, you like things that bite. 
I don't bite. Not usually. You stay in or leaving? I'm thinking about it. Well, there's a couple of vigilantes out there. You could join them. Mr. Perkins, I am not a joiner. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that if you think I'm guilty, you're in good company. Yes, I know that. So? So? Good burger. Mediocre. Give it to Breeze. What a good idea. Breeze. You haven't left yet. I'm hanging in here. By the way, you know who I am, but I don't know who you are. Does it really much matter? Oh, what's wrong? Afraid to give me your name? No. Augusta Lockridge. Lockridge? You're kidding. You want to see my driver's license? Warren Lockridge? My son. I was a child bride. Do you know him? Not well. So, you came back to Santa Barbara. It's my home. My family lives here. Yes, I remember your trial. Yeah, I think everybody does. You said you were innocent. And that's what they all say, right? You know, you're opening up quite a few wounds for quite a few people by staying here. Listen, I'm free. I'm alive. I eat, I drink, I breathe like everybody else does. I want to be treated like everybody else does. And by the way, I am innocent. Well... What? Sit. I'm not going to sit and listen what you have to say to me. I know what you're thinking. I've heard it before. Mr. Perkins, please. I do want to hear more. My mind is not totally closed. Please, sit down. That's better. You say you're innocent, but you can't prove it. Is that it? Maybe. Maybe? And what does that mean? That means I'm not quitting until I find the real killer. I'm not giving up, not as long as I live. You said there was no arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm warning you. You think I'll disrupt his life? Yes. He could be very happy now. I hope so. And if he is, there's no way I would interfere with that. If you find him, when you find him. You'll be looking for problems in his life, reasons for you to step in. There'll be excuses. Mama, I'm talking about human nature. I don't want to think about that. I'm not well read, Santana. Your father has the knowledge from books. I feel it from here. I know a mother will fight to be with her flesh and blood. Do you blame me for wanting to find him and to know him? No. There's no blame. I understand it, darling. What I'm asking of you is the hardest thing I could ask. Let it alone. Let him believe in his parents, whoever they are. If you were to find out his mother isn't his mother, what would that do to him? Mama, I know you mean well. And I know that you want the best for me and for him. So I forgive you. Shall I go? Hi. I came to report. Hey, no, Mama. Sure. Hi, Mrs. Andrade. Hi, Bill. Ah, uh, Bill, Mama knows the whole story. Okay, good. Listen, Santana, I can't stay, but I've got to tell you something. There's something very strange going on here, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. What are you talking about? Well, I made some inquiries around the police station and also at the DA's office. There's no mention of you or a concealed weapon. <laughs> Your name hasn't come up. That's very interesting. Mm hmm Mason said he thought charges would be filed. No, there's no indication of it, none. Of course.
course, I haven't talked to everyone, but still, I think if something were going on, I would have found out. I don't understand. Mm, neither do I. Actually, maybe I do. Well, the point is, I, I don't think you have anything to worry about. No, neither do I. Well, it was very nice of you to come by. Listen, it's always a pleasure to bring you good news. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Bye-bye. Bye, Mrs. Andrade. Mm, bye, Bill. No charges, then? Nope. No witnesses, no nothing. Could Mason be wrong? Or is he trying to frighten you? He's a very complicated man, Mama. But I'll find a way of dealing with him. Time for your yearly bath. with your mother? Only as long as she thinks we're going to the library. I had to make it sound gritty. I should be insulted the way you talk. Would you please keep your eyes on the road? Hey, disco buddy. Hey, <laughs> Pull over. How you doing? What, in here? Yeah, like right now. Come on, pull over right there. Oh, thanks a lot. Use me and lose me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's cool. Are you okay? You look terrific. Thanks. Danny told me about you using carrier pigeons. Oh, yeah, they're great. You know Ben Franklin? He invented it before he invented the telephone. Uh, you like pigeons? Sure, I guess. You want one? A pigeon? A uh, live one? Yeah, unless you shoot and eat it. No, I'll try it. What else you try? Most anything. Oh, no, not you. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, aren't you scared of that tomorrow? What, hang gliding in front of a camera? No. It's a piece of cake. Listen, Dave, hey, why don't we get a table someplace else? Um, I kind of like it here. Well, I'm great. Just great. Where it's quiet. I got a new bikini. Yeah? Yeah, orange. That ought to make you stand out. Danny, listen, everything's crossed except my eyes. And that only happens if I forget to tell the casting director about you. <laughs> you got it. Then my eyes cross and my ears steam. Boy, stuntman tomorrow, star next week. Well, I'll give you a month. Doubtful. Don't you ever dream about being a star? No. Am I the only one who does? Now, if I had a wish, I wouldn't be a movie star. I'd be Valenzuela. Valenzuela? Who's that? Give me a break. Danny. Hey. Yo. Tomorrow's the big day, right? Yep. It's really gonna happen, huh? Signed and sealed. Oh, and now you deliver. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What's funny? Hey, nothing. Warren, no. Danny's my hero. Yeah, hey, look, they uh, asked me to work some extra hours tomorrow. Wouldn't be because of you, would it? Nah, I don't need you. Isn't it exciting? So what, you get excited easily? Only sometimes. I'm selective. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Ah, happy landings tomorrow? Thanks. Hey, look, if it's not happy for you, it's not happy for me. I'm the one who'll be bailing you out of the Pacific. Be good. Danny, I don't want you to get hurt. I can take care of myself. I don't need help from anybody. Oh, 
Hello, Peter. Well, hello, Mason. I didn't know you were here. Have you seen my briefcase? No, I haven't seen your case. I'm here to take Kelly out to dinner. Oh, waiting, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, I have to say, even though Kelly's my sister, I think we men should have women wait for us once in a while. I guess it's a matter of training them properly. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Oh, I, uh... I heard what happened at the harbor earlier, so I guess we can forgive Kelly tonight. Well, I don't mind waiting. Well, you may choke on those words once you tie the knot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. I brought work home with me. Tell I don't want to do it. I'll see you later. Look, Mason. Yeah? There's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, what's that? Well, the other day, C.C. Uh, mentioned that I might be able to join one of the family firms. He did? Yeah, he, he didn't tell you? Well, no, he didn't. So you plan to uh, give up teaching at Lyman? Yeah, I would, under the right circumstances. All this time, I thought you were a dedicated teacher. Dedicated to improving the minds of our young. Uh, Mason, what kind of a position do you think you had in mind for me? Well, I could only guess. Oh, somebody said something about there being an opening in the front office of the Capwell Hotel. Could be something like that. The front office? Uh-huh. What does that mean? Well, that depends. Depends on the employee, on the employer. Depends on a lot of things. Well, uh, homework. You'll find that a uh, businessman's hours are quite different from a teacher's. We'll see you. at you. My goodness. Okay? You're a knockout. Oh, you're biased. <laughs> I hear Peter is waiting to take you out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Good. Are you in the mood to enjoy it? I think so. I heard what happened out at the harbor. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to see Perkins. I heard uh, Joe was thrown in the water. I didn't anticipate that they would throw him in the water. No. And they wouldn't have if he hadn't been so aggressive. I'm sorry you had to go through this, Daddy. That's exactly what I was going to say to you. There isn't anything I wouldn't do to make it easier for you. There's no amount of money I wouldn't spend to protect my family. I know. I want to get Perkins out of town. Well, maybe he has a right to be here. If he had one ounce of decency in him. What did you just say? Daddy, this is his home. His family lives here. He served his time. Kelly, he is after you. I testified against him. That's not stopping him. Kelly, this man killed your brother. He's dangerous. One act of violence leads to another. I'll be careful. Don't worry, I won't see him. Kelly. I love you. And I even love your courage. But I don't think you fully realize the danger you're in. Talk to me. Come on. 
Are you okay? I don't know. There was, there was something. Bomb. A bomb? There was a bomb? I'm gonna go get a doctor. I'm glad you're home, Cece. I took a chance not calling. Come in. Would you uh, like a glass of Chablis? No, that's not necessary. I'll get that and then I'll join you. All right. Yes? Hello, Bert. I'll make it quick. Did you check the gauges? You had a faulty pressure gauge last week. I know, but I've got to know what I'm dealing with. Channing. The door to Channing's room is locked. It uh, hasn't been opened since the day he was murdered. I didn't think that it would still be locked. What are you doing here? I wanted to go in. I wanted to see it. That's impossible. Cece, it's been a hard time. Perkins returned. Hmm? Well, I'm working on getting him out of town for everyone's sake. I know how hard Joe's return has been on you as well as Kelly. I know how much you love Channing. We both loved him. Didn't we? Come on. Let's go to my study. Part of Channing is still alive. Someplace. Do you ever think about that? What are you saying, Santana? You know exactly what I mean. My son. Channing's son. Santana, just let it go. You must. I can't. All kinds of memories have been stirred up. Yes, but this is not just a memory. A child exists. Now, you just stop. No, I'm not going to stop. I've decided. I've decided I have to find him. That's impossible. The adoption went through channels. All the records are sealed. It's the law. I won't stop until I find him. And I'm sorry, I took up so much of your precious time. Santana. I guess I've always known that you wouldn't help me. security system installed yet? Good. Good. And how is our boy? How is Brandon? <laughs> I miss him. You know he has a birthday coming up soon. <laughs> yes. I know. You okay? The fireman has done a hell of a job. They've already contained the fire. Good. The place is going to smell like smoke for weeks. Oh, Joey, thank God for you. I almost got you killed. Some no. people come after me no. and they almost... No, don't. Don't put this on yourself. Oh. Oh, thank God. 
God, Jade and Amy weren't home. Yeah. I have to go look. Mr. Perkins, don't turn around. Don't call anyone. Who are you? If you had anything to do with this. I didn't. What's going on? We have to talk. Meet me at midnight. At the old Channel Islands building. Corner Anacapa and De La Guerra. Why should I? I can help you find the real killer of Channing Jr. I'm going now. Don't follow me. <laughs> You're a pigeon, mademoiselle. No one's ever given me a bird before. You know, if you asked me a year ago, what girl I'd be given a pigeon to? Not me? Uh, well, I'd have to say there wasn't a girl on earth crazy enough to want one. Mm, I surprised you? Yeah, you certainly did. You surprised me, too. Well, now, this is not necessarily bad. <laughs> Never would have believed that the guy who ordered a pizza delivered to English class would turn out to be... <laughs> turn out to be what? I don't know. Giving away pigeons. <laughs> You're blushing. No, I'm not. I think you are. <laughs> Fortunately, it's dark out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So when can I see you again? I don't know. How about tomorrow? We can think about it. At the beach. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> you know, I hate having to sneak behind your mother's back. And your grandma doesn't exactly love me either. Well, look, it has nothing to do with you. It goes way back. I uh, know. I've heard too from my dad. It's so stupid. I mean, there's a whole lot of things that my dad believes in, and his dad and his dad's dad. And so I'm supposed to feel the same way. Well, I don't. Why not? I don't know. And, and my brother Mason's sort of into that. I mean... Everything my father says, he, he, he eats up. I mean, he reminds me of a stuffed green pepper. Oh, I mean, he goes around pumped up with, with their ideas all the time. <laughs> that is an awful thing to say about your brother. Did I say it tasted bad? No, thank goodness. Well, see, I, I could have been worse. <sighs> well, well, I better get going. Mom will kill me. Now, those are the words I did not want to hear. She's going to be waiting up for me. All right. Go. Be gone. Thanks for the bird. Hey, um, uh, keep your mother's dog away from that bird. I want to see who I'm talking to. You don't know me? Then I don't know why the hell I should talk to you. Because I want what you want. I want to find the real killer of Channing Capwell Jr. Everyone believes I killed him. I'm on your side. Then say what it is you have to say. I can't allow you to see me. But there may be ways that I can guide you on the path to the killer. I have to know you trust me and believe that I want justice done just as much as you do. 